What is a WPS button on a router and how do I use it? Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In this video, we'll be discussing what a WPS button on a router is and how you can use it to simplify the process of connecting devices to your Wi-Fi network. So, let's get started. What is a WPS button? The acronym WPS stands for Wi-Fi Protected Setup. It is a feature found on most modern routers that allows you to connect devices to your wireless network quickly and securely. The WPS button is a physical button located on the router that initiates the WPS process. When you press the WPS button, it enables a simplified method for establishing a secure connection between your router and a WPS-compatible device, such as a wireless printer, a gaming console, or a Wi-Fi-enabled camera. It eliminates the need for manually entering lengthy network passwords, making the setup process much more convenient. How to use the WPS button Using the WPS button on your router is a straightforward process. Let's go through the steps. 1. Start by ensuring that your device supports WPS. Most newer devices, such as printers and gaming consoles, have built-in WPS capability. However, it's always a good idea to check the device's user manual or specifications to confirm. 2. Locate the WPS button on your router. It is typically labeled WPS and may be located on the front or back panel, depending on the router model. The button is usually small and may be recessed to prevent accidental presses. 3. Once you've identified the WPS button, press and hold it for a few seconds. This will initiate the WPS process on the router. 4. On your WPS-compatible device, navigate to the Wi-Fi settings or network setup menu. Look for an option to connect using WPS. The exact location and labeling may vary depending on the device. 5. Within the Wi-Fi settings or network setup menu of your device, select the option to connect using WPS. The device will then start searching for available WPS networks. 6. During this time, the WPS LED on your router may start blinking or change color to indicate that it's ready to establish a connection. This varies depending on the router model, so refer to your router's manual for specific indicators. 7. Once the device detects your router's WPS signal, it will automatically establish a secure connection. This process typically takes a few seconds. 8. After a successful connection, your device will be connected to your Wi-Fi network and you can start using it right away. You won't need to manually enter the Wi-Fi network name, SSID, or password. And that's all there is to it. The WPS button on your router provides a convenient way to connect compatible devices to your Wi-Fi network without the hassle of entering lengthy passwords. Remember to check your device's manual to ensure it supports WPS functionality. I hope you found this video helpful and that it has clarified what a WPS button is and how to use it. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.